All right, y'all. So the fashion in coming to America was great. I mean, although I expect like more headdresses uh, for women, pretty much. But anyway, the fashion was great. The the music was great. The dancing was awesome too. I love the dancing. I love the music. So uh, the short dance that I give her props. She was good. Um, she was great. Uh, was it the lady in the red dress? That's pretty and all that stuff. But I kind of wanted to see how society behaved. You know, outside of that kingdom, outside of the two rooms that they showed in it or three i want i kind of want to see like you know a little bit i kind of want to see the library i kind of want to see you know what is it the kitchen i kind of want to basically be able to see myself around the uh the kingdom uh the castle more and also the kingdom itself where the like where are the villagers i mean is there is there any villagers like, uh, where's all the people? Like, what do they wear? What's the, what about the regular people? That's what I want to see. That's what I want to really see. But I didn't see any of that in this film. Um, that's one thing. Another thing, the film didn't really take itself seriously. And I was, like, super disappointed because I actually wanted to be scared of the general and all that stuff. You know, because it actually shows a real struggle. The general comes through and he starts sliding and starts sidewalking and all that stuff. I'm like, oh, so this movie going to go down that route. You see, the thing about the first movie that made it great was that nothing was forced. You understand? Nothing was forced. It's just, you know, it's just a type of a humor. And and it just throws it in there and just, you know, it's just funny. You know, it's memorable, you know. But this movie here just kind of, it just seemed like it's just doing way, way, way too much. Um, and the king himself, he was kingly. The queen herself, she was queenly. Um... It was pretty cool, I mean, but they don't really show about how it's like to actually run a kingdom. It just talks about the sun, this, and the sun, that. And it's like, yeah, and it's like, I kind of wanted to see the kingdom through somebody's eyes, like, which is the sun. But I don't really see it through his eyes that much, you know. It, need, it needs to be, basically, be focused on, you know, one person. But I didn't really, come to think of it, it just seemed like it was basically the king and then it was the son it was the king it was the son and then that's pretty much it you know it wasn't really i don't know what to really focus on um i like i like it but it's like the adventure it just makes no it, it i see that they go they're walking throughout and you see all the animals i love animals all that stuff but it just seemed like to me where everybody at like it's just one kingdom surrounded by like number fours but what are they kingdom of how do you even get the place built where did everybody come from you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I just, you know, I guess the movie was just very lighthearted and stuff, but it just seemed like to me I got rated 3 out of 5 because it wasn't that bad. But, I mean, oh, yeah, and it, and it got pretty inappropriate sometimes because I watched the movie with my dad and they were doing, like, you know, some type of sexual stuff. You know, uh, what was it? Pretty inappropriate, and that's, like, that's unnecessary. Uh, that that's what that's another thing that kind of that I didn't like was that it was a dry humor. It was just very dry, very forced humor, and that's like that's not cute to me. That was not cute. Um, yeah. So anyway, all right. That's it. That's all I gotta think of, guys. But the colors were nice and all that stuff. I love the colors. It was great. But um, yeah. What else is nice? Oh, the jury. The jury is nice. The jury is nice. But anyway, guys, bye.